Converted school buses, known as schoolies, are a growing trend on the West Coast, but one local man's plan to jump on that trend has hit a roadblock. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman with this school bus showdown. John Fuller has been transforming this schoolie outside of his Sacramento home for about six months now. Now the county is forcing him to take a back seat, saying it's illegal to keep it here on his property. Now they're forcing him to shut the door on his dreams of taking this RV on the road. So yeah, this is a uh, like I like I told you, it's a work in progress. His back plate says it all. It is not a slow bus. It's a fast house. John Fuller has been battling with the county to keep his schoolie on scene, something he calls a growing trend across the West Coast. A lot of people are using them as tiny homes. He's just got a bed, a stove, with the drop of a hat. Drive across the country if I want to. If you tour his Sacramento neighborhood, you'll see plenty of RVs parked here, including one belonging to Joan Payton. I can understand the neighbors are a little concerned with that sitting in the driveway. Joan Payton says she's a big fan of the schoolie. I am okay with people who are trying to redo things. I'm okay with that. But other neighbors don't see this as an RV and tipped off code enforcement. And they said, oh yeah, we got a report that the bus has been there for months, doesn't run, and isn't registered, and is covered in a thick layer of dirt. All of which Fuller says isn't true. He received a courtesy violation from the county. They say this isn't a motor home and it's illegal to park here. What makes mine different and illegal. Now we're digging deeper and asking the county what is it about the schoolie that makes it illegal to park on his property. Sacramento County Code Enforcement says it's considered a commercial vehicle and must be parked elsewhere. I used to say, uh, you know, like school district or school bus here. So I decided to remove every piece of evidence that it was a commercial vehicle. Despite the work Fuller put into the vehicle, including registering it with the state DMV as a motor home, the county says Mr. Fuller's bus was built to be a bus, and while he may have repainted it and taken the seats out, it still looks like a bus, and the county still consider this to be a bus. Maybe if I paid someone to convert my schoolie, it would be okay. So what they're saying is they still think it's a bus. I think that's what I took away from it. Fuller says he doesn't want to put any more time or money into the thing, the schoolie, mm -hmm. if he can't keep it.